And he had a call, and he was talking to one of my bishops. And they had just gone to bury one of our members. What was the reason? Explain, tell me. He had a new job, uh -huh. and at the new job front, he fell into a, a water reservoir and died. The guy went to job. He got a new job. He, he went to work. And at his workplace, there was a water reservoir. And nobody could explain how he got in there, fell into the water reservoir, and died. Listen, some things don't make sense to me. And things that don't make sense, I understand. Anything in the works. Hear me. Hear me. What happened October 7th? I'm told it was a plan for two years. Any secret plan, any hidden agenda in the works, in the womb of time, behind the scenes, in the shadows, going on right now, where you are concerned, where your family is concerned, between now, 31st December, and beyond, by the thief who comes to kill, steal, and destroy, we intercept and arrest it. Put your hands together. Intercept and arrest. Come on, somebody. Open your mouth. Nobody is going to pray that prayer for you. Nobody is going to do it for you. You better get up. Open your mouth. Put your hands together and pray that prayer for yourself. Yes. Push it. Come on. He comes to kill, to steal, and to destroy. Jesus said, I have come that you may have life and have it in abundance. Come on, somebody. Intercept and arrest. Intercept and avert. In the name of Jesus, push it, push it, push it, push it. Thunder. Hola, Magadaza. Wickedness, wicked agenda, imagination, any wicked imagination, agenda, thoughts, provocations, projections, pregnancy in the womb of time, we intercept and we abort it in the name of Jesus. Come on, somebody, intercept, abort. Madula Makadis. Seleki tu kalagada sada melika tunda kasatalaha. In the name of Jesus, hear me. Friday, before the end of the fast, I was in prayer about five hours. Then I decided to go shower. I was standing. I finished showering, and I pulled the glass, and the whole glass in the bathroom exploded exploded on me and it was all over the place and I have to walk on the glass barefooted I have to walk on the glass barefooted to come out and I said Lord what is it he said the tail of the snake is the tail of the dragon what does it mean it means that you chop off the head but the tail is all over the place somebody say is the tail is the tail is the tail and when I came I said to my wife I said we have the victory we have the upper hand. And he said, what are you saying? I said, I just killed a snake. I just killed a snake. I just cut the head of the snake. I declared that the head of the snake is cut off. And between now and the end of the year, we block the tail of the dragon. Put your hands together. Block the tail. Block the tail. Block the tail. Block the tail of the dragon. We block the tail. We intercept the tail of the dragon, the snake in our home, our dwelling our going out, our coming in we block the tail, open your mouth block the tail push it, push it
Let me come with me to Psalm 91, verse 5 and 6. Psalm 91, eh? The times we live in, we need to pray Psalm 91 every day. Yeah. We live in very strange times. And Psalm 91 is a scripture we shouldn't play with. Go ahead. For thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night. You see, there is something called the terror by night. As soon as it's dark, as soon as it's night, terror appears. Things will terrify you in the night. When you go to the forest, you realize in the jungles that all the wild beasts, they come out in the night, not during the day. The terror by night. Look at Songs of Solomon, chapter 3. Songs of Solomon, chapter 3. I think it's verse 7, eh? Look at verse 7 and 8. The New King James. Behold, New King James. New King it is James. Solomon's couch uh -huh. with 60 valiant men around it. Uh-huh. Of the valiant of Israel. Uh -huh. They all hold swords, being expert in war. Uh -huh. Every man has a sword on his thigh uh -huh. because of fear in the night. Kaluda Mundagaza, Asalama Katan, Wakasalundu Kawahasilia, E Kitalun. Go back to, to Psalm 91. The terror by night, anything that will seek to terrify. To threaten our lives or our families between now and the end of this year and beyond, we intercept it. I said we intercept it. We override it. We overthrow it. Put your hands together. Intercept. Override. Overthrow. Come on, somebody. Terror. Threatenings. Terror. Threatenings. In the low wakahisa. Leku sadala kasiyanda. Mekanda wasahan. The liar to tum da di the bay to kalawasi and da kile to kanda kasaman bivalu kutun kelu takasi balata kasada e kitu kandi le the kaya kun salamada ilomo tu kadi kalakasi malata kodala mahasada ilama kanda kasia come on somebody maya satunda sa look at me. Go back to Psalm 91. Give me verse 10 and 11. Verse 10 and 11. There shall no evil before thee. No, no, no. Before verse 10, let's go back to 91, 5 and 6. For go thou shalt not be afraid by the, of, for the terror by night, uh -huh. nor for the arrow that flyeth by day. Tell somebody, do you know that arrows have been released against you? You. Arrows. During the day, yeah. Daytime arrows. We intercept them. We block daytime arrows. We command them to change course. In the name of Jesus, put your hands together. Intercept. Block every daytime arrows. Arrows by day. They've been released all over the place. Between now and 31st and beyond. We intercept the arrows of men. The arrows of warlords. The arrows of false prophets. The arrows of false brethren, strange children. We intercept their arrows. Intercept their imagination. Projection, prediction, curse word, talk on scripture, solace prayers. We intercept those arrows, block them in the name of Jesus. Put your hands down, override, overthrow, avert it. Now, go to verse 6. Go to verse 6. Now for the pestilence that walketh in darkness. In darkness. Anywhere you are ignorant, it's a dark area. Wherever you lack knowledge and illumination, it's a dark area. And the enemy has an advantage there. Lift up your right hand. Say in the name of Jesus. Any advantage, an occasion, the adversary, is using against me. Known and unknown. Say today, by the illumination of the scriptures, I strip the enemy, deny him of that occasion and advantage as I put my hands together in the name of Jesus. Come on, somebody.
Now, now, one of the signs of the end time is the spirit of disobedience against parents by children and the spirit of rebellion. Say in the name of Jesus, I intercept and I neutralize and I terminate every spirit of rebellion and disobedience against parents. In the name of Jesus, every parent come to the altar. Every parent, as much as possible, come to the altar. Every parent, come to the altar. And as you come to the altar, we lift up prayers against the spirit of disobedience and every spirit of rebellion against parents. It's a spirit that is moving, operating through children. We neutralize it. We break the power of the spirit of rebellion, defiance, disobedience against parents. Put your hands together. Cry out. Intercept. Attack. Come against. Override. Override. Neutralize. Terminate. Every spirit of disobedience, rebellion, and defiance against parents, home and abroad. Somebody put your hands together. Lift up prayer. I can't hear you. Push it. Push it. Intercept it. Bind it. We intercept. We come against. We bind the spirit of disobedience to parents. Rebellion. Defiance. Stubbornness. Witchcraft. Spells and bewitchment. Engaging. Deploying the seed of the righteous to rebel. To rebel against order. Law and order. Authority and parents. We arise. We override disobedience, rebellion, stubbornness, defiance against order and law and parents. We intercept, intercept, bind, we bind, we bind, we bind, we bind, we bind, we bind it in the name of Jesus. Be bound, be bound. Whatsoever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatsoever you lose on earth shall be loose in heaven. We lose the seed of the righteous. We lose our children. We lose our children. We bind stubbornness, bewitchment, disobedience, rebellion, defiance. Come on, somebody, put your hands together. Bind, come against, override, override, rise above, rise above. Now, hear me, hear me. Go to Esther, chapter 9, verse 1. Esther chapter 9 verse 1 Esther 1 9, nine one. Kadu Lazaha De Lakutuku Nahasa Now in the 12th month That is the month of Ada mm -hmm. On the 13th day yes, sir. The time came for the king's command And his decree to be executed On the day that the enemies of the Jews Had hoped to overpower that, them That number 13 Most buildings in America They don't have a 13th floor Because there's some superstition about the number 13. But whatever evil day the enemy has appointed for us between now and 31st December and beyond to hurt and to disadvantage us, we turn it around. Somebody say, turn it, turn it, turn it around. Somebody say, in the name of Jesus, say, Lord, turn it around. Around. In the name of Jesus, go ahead. On the day that the enemies of the Jews had hoped to overpower them, uh -huh. the opposite occurred. The what? The opposite occurred. Say on that evil day, we command the opposite. Now, go to Ephesians 6.13. Look at Ephesians 6.13. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, uh -huh. that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, uh -huh. and having done all to stand. There is an evil day. I'm telling you. There is a day between now and the end of this year or beyond, that the enemy has appointed to do evil, to hurt somebody. But in the name of Jesus, on that day, let the opposite occur. In the name of Jesus, give me, give me Hosea 9, 14. Hosea 9, 14. Give them, give them O Lord, what will thou give? Give them a miscarrying womb 
a dry breast. Say whatever they are hatching. Say demonic pregnancies. Say every wax of the enemy in the shadows, behind the scenes, in the womb of time, between now and the end of the year and beyond to disadvantage us, to give the enemy an occasion to say, where is our God? Say in the name of Jesus, let the opposite occur. Let that pregnancy and conception be aborted. Let it miscarry. Right now, somebody lift up prayer. Open your mouth. Clap your hands. Overturn it, overturn it, abort, cause to miscarry, cause to cease, override, override, neutralize, abort, in the name of Jesus, open your mouth, come on somebody, push. In the name of Jesus, give me Acts. Acts chapter 16, verse 25 and 26. A very interesting situation here. Where Paul and Silas was kept in prison. And at midnight, when men sleep and snore, Paul and Silas decided otherwise. And said, we are not letting men determine the outcome of our life tomorrow morning. That let not the decisions of any man or any woman determine the outcome of our circumstances. We take that right away from them. We take it from them in the name of Jesus. We strip them of that power. Look at how they made it. Go ahead. And at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto God. Mm -hmm. And the prisoners heard them. Uh -huh. And suddenly there was a great earthquake. So that the foundation we of the prison. We send great earthquakes to the foundation of the defenses and strongholds of our enemies. We send great earthquakes to their dwelling, to their empires and secret places. In the name of Jesus, let the foundations of their defenses and strongholds be broken, shaken, destroyed. Put your hands together. Declare. Destroy their foundation. Oh Lord. Let their foundation be destroyed. Let the, the foundation of their defenses and strongholds be destroyed. Destroy. Shake their kingdom. Shake their confidence. Shake their defenses. Shake their stronghold. Shake. 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 Destroy. Now. Go ahead. Go ahead. So and the foundations of the prisons and, were shaken. Uh -huh. And immediately... All the doors were open. How many doors were open? All. Oh. Do you know how many doors God has for you that has been closed? Doors of long life. Doors of favor. Doors of exaltations. Doors of permanent breakthroughs. 
doors of permanent solutions. Are you hearing me? Any door that the enemy has shut against you at the marketplace, at your workplace, home and abroad, domestic and external. Listen, doors don't open till you pray. So stop all this yayet thing you are doing. I'm a very cool person. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I'm very collective. Please. The devil, he has no respect for all those things. Eh? Stop all those yeah, yeah you are doing. Are you hearing me, somebody? Those of you at home, wherever you are, stand on your feet, follow the orders and the instructions. Right now, we want to command. Close doors, open. I said close doors, open. This week, every door that the enemy has shut, we command it open. Put your hands together. Command close doors to open. Doors of financial breakthroughs. Doors of deliverance. Doors of divine intervention. Doors of divine turnaround. Doors of vindication. The doors of new beginnings. In the name of Jesus. The doors at the marketplace. Let it open. Let the gates open. Let the doors open. Doors of favor. Doors of permanent victory. Solution. Let the doors open. We command the opening of closed doors. Somebody put your hands down. Command the opening of any door that the enemy has shut. This week, we unlock, unlock the doors of treasures, of darkness, the doors of hidden riches in secret places in the name of Jesus. Now, one minute. Finish that scripture. Listen. And everyone's bonds were loose. Everyone's who? Bands. Everyone. Bands. Everyone. Bands. Do you know how many people have been chained? Do you know how many people are bound? That must be loose. This week, anyone, any one of our divine helpers, whom the enemy has chained, whom the enemy has tied up, whom the enemy has bound, home and abroad, whatever has bound them, whatever has tied them up, mentally, psychologically, emotionally, physically, spiritually, financially, we break their bounds. We break the bounds of wickedness. We break their chains. As we put out, loose them, loose them, loose them. In the name of Jesus, give me Isaiah chapter 28 verse 18. Isaiah 28, 18. We disannul it. And your covenant with death shall be disannulled. And your agreement with hell shall not stand. When the overflowing scourge shall pass through and it shall be trodden down. By, by the blood it. of the covenant, I decree a Passover of the angel of darkness. The angel of death, the angel of destruction, let it pass over us, pass over our children, pass over our dwelling, and every covenant with death in your father's house, in your mother's house, and agreement with hell that has targeted anyone among us or anyone that concerns us, home and abroad, we disannul the covenant with death, with the grave, with hell. Somebody open your mouth, disannul it.
Now, give me 1 Thessalonians 2.18. 1 Thessalonians 2.18. Wherefore, we would have come unto you, even I, Paul, once and again. What it means here is, the breakthrough you've been waiting for, it should have happened long ago. Over and over and over again. But Paul said, but Satan, Satan hindered us. Uh -huh. Anything that hindered you this year, you are breaking it in the name of Jesus. It's not entering 2024 with you. You annul it in the name of Jesus. Any satanic opposition, any blessing blocker, any hindering spirit, whatever they have designed that hindered you 2023, we break it. Between now and 2024, we break it and we are entering 2024 with the upper hand, with an exalted horn, with dominion. Put your hands down, open your mouth, declare it. Come on, somebody. Push it. Get aggressive. Natadu. Nakata. Nelatu Kadis. Hey. Hey. We break the power of the enemy to sabotage, to block, to hinder. We break, 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 break every hindrance to the deliverance of our children, our sons, our daughters. Any obstacle, deliverance, delay to our breakthrough, to our deliverance. Break, break. As you put your hands down, we break, break, break it. In the name of Jesus, break it. The name of Jesus. Give me Acts 28 and verse 2. Acts chapter 28, verse 2. You see, the enemy, eh, he loves it when we are so gentle and nice. I'm telling you, for those of you, you know, you've been to some high school and education, you are very, you know, cool. You, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You're so cool and so nice. You are the one he likes. Look at, look, look, look at it. Look at the scripture. Look at it. And the barbarous people showed us no little kindness. Uh -huh. For they kindled a fire and received us everyone because of the present rain uh -huh. and because of the cold. Uh -huh. right. And when Paul had gathered a bundle of sticks uh -huh. and laid them on the fire, uh -huh. there came a viper out of the heat and fastened on his hand. Listen, do you know that the snake, the viper, was hidden in the sticks or in the woods? It never came out. Nobody knew that there was a snake hiding. Tell to somebody and say, you. Do you know there's a snake in your life? There's a snake hiding oh, somewhere in your life. I'm telling you. And do you know why you don't even know it? Because there is no heat. There's no fire. You, you set the fire, you see. You see the things that will start coming out. Today, I set you on fire. We set the fire in the name of Jesus. Release the fire. Open and say, I release fire all around me, within and without. I release the fire. Come on, somebody. Put your hands together. Release fire. Release fire. 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 In the house. Domestic. External. Release. Fire. 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 Every snake that is hidden will show up. Consume the snake. Consume the snake. We consume it. Release the fire. Consume the snake. Hidden snakes. Snakes that are hidden, hiding in the house, in the home, in the marriage, in the life of our family, our sons and our daughters. We expose the snake. We release fire. We release fire. We expose the snake. The snake intercept, terminate the serpent now in the name of Jesus.
Hear me. Hear me. Look at Daniel chapter 10, verse 12 and 13 now, and I'll leave you after this. I'll leave you after this. Some of you, eh? I wish I can keep you all night. By the time you go home, the snake will run away. I command the snake to die. Between now and the end of this year, anyone that is a snake will die in the name of Jesus. We execute judgment over the snake. Put your hands together. Say, I execute the judgment written against the snake. Every snake in my house, every snake within my walls, every snake, domestic and external, in my life or the life of my children, I execute the judgment written over the snake, against the snake. Let the snake die. Let the snake die. Open your mouth. Put your hands down. Come out. Decree. Declare. Let the snake die. close with this scripture. Give me second Thessalonians. Now, now, now go to Daniel. Let's finish with Daniel quickly. Then said he unto me, fear uh -huh. not, Daniel. Fear not. Uh -huh. For from the first day that thou from didst... From where? The first day. From where? The first day uh -huh. that thou didst set thine heart to understand mm -hmm. and to chasten thy soul before thy God. Uh -huh. Thy words were heard uh -huh. and I am come for thy words. Uh -huh. But the prince of the kingdom but, of Persia... But... But the prince of the kingdom of Persia withstood me one Say, and twenty days. Every interference of the manifestations of my blessings, my glory, my favor. Say every interference with the manifestation and the outcomes of my prayers. I intercept and I block and override every interference in the name of Jesus. Put your hands guy, intercept, block interference. We block. We block. We block every interference. I can't hear you. You are being too nice. Too nice. Put aside your dignity. Open fire. And you can go back for your dignity after you have the answer. In the name of Jesus. Come on, somebody. Put it together. In the name of Jesus. Madula Madaya. Madula Madaya, Madakadula Masa, Monda Kadila Kedaza, Kondo Kasadaha, Le to Kadu Kasa, De Kitu Kulada, Malakatunda Kasa. Now hear me. Hear me. Second Thessalonians 3:16. Now hear me. Tell somebody, eh? Please. Tell somebody, please. Put aside your dignity. Get the victory. And then go back for your dignity. Tell him if you don't put aside this your dignity and niceness, Satan will embarrass you. We want to enforce this scripture wherever you are listening to this one. Now the Lord of peace himself uh -huh. give you peace always when? by all means. Give you peace what? Always. Every now and then. No. But what? Always. Uh -huh. By all means. By what? By all means. By what? All means. Say in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare. Peace always. And peace. By all means. Within my walls. In my going out. In my coming in. Peace always. By all means. By all means means. If God has to take away somebody for you to have your peace, God will do it. Come on, put your hands together and force that word. Peace, always, by all means. Peace, always, by all means. By all means. Peace, always, by all means. Having peace, always, 
by all means I decree I declare I enforce peace always by all means within our dwelling are going out are coming in in this house in this land in this nation our airways where our children sons and daughters are and dwell peace always by all means peace always by all means now lastly lastly before i release you between now and the end of this year any unresolved issue in your life any situation that has not yet been resolved is not entering 2024 let there be divine resolution let it be resolved by the intervention of God be resolved by scripture be resolved in the name of Jesus by fire by fire command unresolved issues to be resolved before you enter 2024 open your mouth put your hands down command unresolved issues be resolved concerning your health your finances your children your wife your husband your marriage your investment let unresolved issues be resolved be resolved be resolved somebody open your mouth put your hands together Let me ask you to pray one prayer for your father. I want you to pray one prayer and prophesy. I don't do this all the time and say, Heavenly Father, let every unresolved issue in the life of our father and concerning his family, his wife, children, his health, his finances, and this house, let every unresolved issue where our father, the Archbishop Nicholas Duncan Williams, is concerned. Between now and 31st December and beyond, let it be resolved now. Put your hands together. Pray that prayer for your father. Come on, somebody. Lift it. Scream it. Cry out. Put your hands together. Those of you online, whoever you are, whatever you are, home and abroad, I command, let unresolved issues be resolved concerning our father, the Archbishop Nicholas Duncan Williams. Lift it up. Enforce it. Lift up your right hand. Say in the name of Jesus. I call upon heaven and earth to witness this moment and to hear my proclamations. In the name of Jesus, let every waster release against me and my house and this house and my nation. Let the waster be wasted. Be wasted. Put your hands on a command every waster to be wasted I waste the waster let the waster be wasted in the name of Jesus wasting every waster in the name of Jesus now 
Lift up your right hand. Say any tongues. Tongues. Plural. Say tongues. Say in bay. Say in kase. Say any tongues in my life. In this house. In my business. In the name of Jesus. Say today. Between now and the end of this year. I override and uproot the tongues in my life. Override, uproot the tongues. Put your hands together. Override, uproot tongues. 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 In our lives. In the life of our family. Our children. This house. Our nation. Our loved ones. Our finances. Investment. We override and uproot the tongues. Uproot the tongues. 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 Mbe. Nkase. Uproot. 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 Mbe. Nkase. Uproot. Jesus said, whatever my father did not plant it, shall be rooted out. We uproot. 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 Override. Uproot. The tongues. Override. Uproot. Now, hear me. The Bible says in the book of Zechariah that these are the horns that scatter Israel. Lift up your right hand. Say between now and the end of this year and beyond. Let the scatterer be scattered. In the name of Jesus. Say anyone release to scatter me and my house and this house and my nation. Let them be scattered. Put your hands together. Scatter the scatterer. I can't hear you. Lift up your right hand. Lift up your right hand. Place your left hand on your stomach. I command the healing of the organs of your body. I release the healing power of Christ. I release the therapeutic healing powers of Christ. For there is a balm in Gilead from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. I command your healing. I command your recovery. I command your release. I command your loosening from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. Be healed of that condition. Be healed of every infirmity. Be healed of every affliction. In the name of Jesus, I release the healing anointing. Let the healing anointing flow. Flow. Let there be an overflow of the healing anointing. I command that situation in your body to be fixed. Sugar diabetes be a curse. Arthritis be a curse. Every condition with your kidneys and your liver, I command it to be arrested. I command every infection in any part of your body to be arrested. I command every attack on your body to break in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of infirmity and affliction over your body and that of your children and your family, I command it break. I command it break. As we put our hands down, let it break. Put your hands down. Let it break. 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 Every setback. Break. Limitations. Break. Infirmity. Break. Afflictions. Break. Oppression. Break. Setback. Break. Disappointment. Break. 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 Take your hands off. Take your hands off. Take your hands off. The bodies of God's children. Loose their bodies. Release their health. Loose them. Let them go. Let them go. Let them go. I will restore health. I will restore your health. I command restoration of health. 
recovery of your health, strength and energy. Recover, recover, recover. Be healed, be healed, be healed. Whoever you are, wherever you are, be healed. In the name of Jesus, be healed. Thank you. Please take your seat. As you take your seat, sing this song with me. The church is marching on. Yeah, the church is marching on. The gates of hell shall, shall not, not prevail. The church is marching on. Sing everybody now. The church is marching on. And the church And sing it now. The church. Are you singing, somebody? 